Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Pivotal Game 3 of this playoff series tonight. Opening face-off is just seconds away. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Quick feed to Morensky. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Columbus takes possession of the neutral zone. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Here they come inside the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. And he's ridden off the puck. The Leafs have it now. Slides the pass over to Marner. Here they come up along the wing. Jabs the puck away. Skates in behind the cage. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Passes on over to McCabe. Right in the open ice. That one's picked off. Saucer feed. Off the post. A huge opportunity to go ahead in this game, James, but it hits the pipe and out. Now they're chasing. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And that's off target as it hits a body. The Leafs gain possession. Oh, textbook put check to turn that over. Moves it to Domi. In close! Tremendous stop by Merslikens! Oh, it stops him again! Oh man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. That's club by Sam Soda. will go to work here in the offensive end. Too many bodies in the way. Camps cross the line and gain the zone. There's a save. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it across to Goodbranson. Samsonov's got the puck and he's going to hang on. McCabe's been working so hard with the puck and without it. It's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points. You want to feel like you're contributing. Toronto's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And the puck's kicked free. Taken along the wall by Brody. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And that's a great heads-up play by Giordano. Columbus takes possession along the wall. The Blue Jackets gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Oh, slick work with the glove by Samsonov. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Picked up along the boards by Goudreau. Quick pass to Severson. Moves the puck. Tees him up. Denies him. He got all of it. Here's a short pass to Lilgrim. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Oh, and that doesn't go well. Denied that one. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. 
And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Toronto's got control of the puck. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Jenner. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still scoreless in this one. Johnson's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Provorov's going to play it against the half wall. Bumped off the puck. The Blue Jackets have it in the offensive zone. Slams into the wall. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, look at this chance. Broken up by Bolkvist. From behind his own net. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Knocked away with the stick by Bertuzzi. Toronto's got the puck here in the open ice. Poked away by Roslevic. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Picked up along the wall by Klingberg. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Bertuzzi. Hammers it on net. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. The Leafs have it from their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Sends it in on the attack. Fiend's got it in the defensive end. And that's intercepted and they'll go on the attack. And sends it just out of reach. Here's a shot. Oh, break out the ice packs. He lays out to block that shot. Ow! Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Yarncroak. Solid check to slow him down. Columbus is on the attack. Fires it. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Past the midway mark in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Toronto's got the win off that draw. Quick feed to Krieger. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Centering pass! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Columbus has the puck. The Blue Jackets work it through center. Columbus gains control of the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And he takes the feed. Gaining steam here on the attack. Still has possession. Moves it to Marchenko. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Severson. Oh! The Blue Jackets are still at even here. They had an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately, they hit the pipe again. They scores! The big man, Patrick Lyle, delivers again. That's a beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. Columbus strikes first here in this one, although it took a while, Cheryl. It took a while as the latter half of the first period, but that goal creates adrenaline. Adrenaline creates momentum. Momentum creates confidence, and you can bet that they'll be on all cylinders firing in this next faceoff. Toronto's got possession of the puck. The Leafs ready to go on the attack. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. 
here in the late goings of the period. Columbus has the 1-0 lead. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Severson. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Oh, what a stop by Merzlikens! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Quick pass to Wawrenski. Handles the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Slides the puck down low. Angles it over to Kemp. Here's a chance. And that's blocked in traffic. Center into the middle. Well, the position is tough enough, and then you have these goals that wind up in the back of the net. He deposited it himself, and that's a real tough one to handle. This next shift, this next save, it's huge. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Taken along the wall by Roslevic. Yarncrocks lugging the puck. And he takes the feed. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, that brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Device period two is set to go. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Columbus needs to find more energy if they're going to break this tie, James. I mean, they haven't generated a ton of shots, and they also haven't driven the paint. They have an aggressive attack mentality. That's what they need if they want to get into this game. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Line. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Severson. Takes the feed. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Tries it to the crease. And he elects to explore his options. Here's a short pass to Riley. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Wierenski. Quick feed to Marchenko. And that's hooked away. Loose puck battle along the boards. Moves it over to Tavares. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. With the stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Leafs win the draw. Moves it to Johnson. Sends a pass over. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. For point time. Big time stop by Merzlikens. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he takes the dish. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Provorov. And now it's grabbed by Jenner. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. I like the habits and the shot selection right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe, doesn't go in the 4 by 6 and now they're chasing the game. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. 
The Blue Jackets will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Feeds it to Kemp. Quick snap! Misses a golden opportunity there. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Picks up the puck in his own end. Quick pass to Yarncroft. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Pass across to McCabe. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And that's intercepted by Bean. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Puck picked up by Corrali. And he had the answer on that one. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. The Blue Jackets will go to work here in the offensive zone. Keeps a hold of it on the play. The Leafs take it across the blue line. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Misses the net and will play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. Works it across to Krieger. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Pokes it away in his own end. Picked up along the boards by Wierenski. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. Loses his balance on the play. Slides it diagonally to line A. Scrum along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Riley. And he takes the pass. Chance in front. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net. Come on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. The Leafs win it. Puck scooped up by Marner. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Quick feed to Provorov. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Quick pass across to Marner. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Matthews. Denies him again. Great pressure with the stick. Here we go. Look at this here. Really a fine the squeeze down on the offensive end. And they've got it in their own end here. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Puts it in deep. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Riley. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Tavares. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. And that's knocked away by Domi. Toronto's looking to break out. And now it's to McCabe. Here they come. Sends the pass over. The Blue Jackets gain possession in their own end. Johnson's picking up steam. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Jenner. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Quick feed to McCabe. Here's a chance. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Dumps it in. 
The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he serves it across to Kemp. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Kemp. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we are all tied up in this one. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Corrales got the puck in his own zone. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Faceoff looming as both centers get into position. Corrales won the draw at center. And that's knocked away. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Takes the feed. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Looks to make a play over to Brody. Slick feed. Moves it to Yarnthrope. Here's a shot. Fantastic save. There's back-to-back -back saves. Man, is he ever quick on his feed, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. To his teammate. Reaches out and uses the stick. Hammers one. Makes the save on the slapper. The Leafs win the defensive zone faceoff. Handles the pass. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Hooked away in the offensive end. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Here's a chance! Tremendous stop by Samsonov. Nylander's got it across the line. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Columbus moves it quickly along the wing. Quick shot! And that's deflected off someone in front. Quick pass to Johnson. Taken by Marner. The Blue Jackets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From the right side, moves it up ahead. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. We've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Just moments away from the start of the third period. And we are underway here in the third, still time. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. They go on the attack from the left side. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Toronto's regained possession of the puck. And he stops that cannon there. Wow. Angles it over to Marchenko. The Leafs gain possession. And some good footwork to kick it away. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Leafs are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Jackets get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Lopez hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the call for the official. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two.
Columbus has a five on three with loads of time to spare. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Takes possession. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Here he is, wrists it on net. Makes it look easy with the stop. Samsonov is able to square up to the shooter right here. Was in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Dismiss that chance. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Fed over to Provorov. Another pass. Great save in front by the goaltender. Pass the puck to the outside. Look at the passing clinic they've got going now. Great save on the play. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage. They'll look to keep up the attack here on the power play. Less set up, more rapid fire against a goaltender who's already tired. And off the draw, they win possession. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. Both with stick handling in his own zone. The Blue Jackets cross the line and gain the zone. Puck grabbed by Line. And that pass attempt is deflected. Columbus plays it against the boards. The Blue Jackets have it now. Tries to feed it over to Marchenko. With possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Lopez. And there's the save of the play. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Line A's taking it from his own end. The Leafs can kill off a few extra seconds now. He grabs the puck here at the point. Three on one, look out! Across the line! Slides it across! What a sacrifice there to block that shot! Hammers it on net! Oh, what a stop by Merce Leakins! Handles it along the blue line. Oh, what a great save by Merce Leakins! As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Here's a chance! Here's a touch! He scores! What a play! The United have scored off that unbelievable feed. James is just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. goes up by one here in this third period and now it's all about the sprint to the finish. Oh yeah, and you know that they can see the finish line in sight, James, but there's still some time to let their opponent back in, so you got to be aggressive when it counts when you know you can be first on the puck. But there will be times that they got to pull back and play defense. And that's deflected. Moves it on over to Matthews. Nice dish from the left wing. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Columbus will play it from behind the net. And he connects with the long bomb. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Quick feed to Rostovic. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Slides it back to the blue line. And it gets nowhere near the net. Blocked on the play. Samsonov's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James. And he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save. But now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. And now it's grabbed by Rosovic. Wierenski's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Fires it on net. Oh, gets a club on it to make the stop. Bokfi's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a 2-1 game. Columbus wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. 
Columbus has held the bulk of the play and had a ton of opportunities. When you keep putting it off the frame, though, you give your opponent some life and it can switch the momentum. They'll want to execute, but the good part is they're still in the lead. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. The Leafs have it now. Broken up with a little physicality. Columbus has it in the open ice. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Across the line, down the left wall. Shot! Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Toronto's won the face-off. And he takes a shot! Just gets enough to keep it out! I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Toronto's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Here's a short pass to Kemp. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Came up with a nice save. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Olivier. What a steal in his own end. Toronto's on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Blue Jackets lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Columbus wins the faceoff. Receives the pass. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, what a glove save by Samsonov. Offense his own faceoff, and he wins the draw. Moves it to Bertuzzi. Toronto's got it along the wall. Moves the puck. What a save by Merzlikens. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Domi. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And he takes the feed. Domi's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Stopped by the goaltender. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. Matthews will be looking to deliver on the power play, guys. He can use his zone ability to help this unit get a good scoring chance. Let's see what happens here. The Blue Jackets start with the puck in their own end. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Here's a shot! And there's a glove save on the play. Merzlikens has been constant and consistent in the net tonight for his team, James. And they've had an opportunity to build momentum off multiple saves. I mean, the volume of shots he's seen, he needs a rest. I mean, his face is red. Corrales won it off the faceoff. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Answered the call on that play. Quick pass to Nylander. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Scores! And I guess they won't need that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call, and it almost looks as that the defensive structure collapses. Take advantage. 
Well, this is just a great goal and an even better pass. I mean, you can defend predictability, but it is so difficult to defend unpredictability, and he has got elite vision. He's known for it, but the eyes, the deceptiveness to them, he manipulates everyone and finds the open player. The Leafs have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here at a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, when you score a goal like this, often you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within... He scores! Off the pipe and holds the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. That's a tough one to take, James. I mean, you're on a power play. It's a tie game. You have to manage the puck. You have to create scoring chances, not give them up. The Blue Jackets have a critical one-goal lead here in the third. Cheryl, what's the strategy now? Well, there's a couple of them, and I like to press because I think it's really important. That's how you got the lead, but you have to be very mindful. When the puck turns over, you have to get back to the middle of the ice and certainly protect. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Good Branson. Can't hang on after that hit. Toronto's got it in their own zone. And he feeds it down to Marner. Here they come on the attack. Shot! Wow! What a stop by Merzlikens! Here's a chance! And that goes off a body and a ride. Great reach with the poke check. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, this is the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. Scores! Off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Man, I would love to freeze frame that shot, James. Ah, the torque on his stick to be able to get that shot off with that amount of force, incredible. The Leafs tied things up, and suddenly we're in next goal win territory, Cheryl. Yeah, these last minutes are critical in this game, and you know that the big mistake that happens, it could be the last one. Toronto's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Tavares won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Slides the puck across to Klingberg. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Handles the puck. Now over to Rostovic. Cuts into the paint. Scores! And we take a try to crush City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands. And now it's about building off of that. Good shift management. Dictating pace. Controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you've got to have the will. The Blue Jackets now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it, continue to apply the pressure. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Beautiful saucer pass. On 
the attack along the boards. He got all of that one. Sends the pass down low. Rips it. Oh, as he locked in on that as he stops the one-timer. Denied by Sensonov. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Toronto's been very active offensively tonight, but they just have not been able to finish on their scoring chances here late in the third. Matthews quick on the draw. Works it across to Marner. And he takes the feed. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Severson. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. And he passes it up ahead to Texier. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Unable to reach that one. Into the offensive end now. Moves it to the middle. Shot! Tremendous stick save by Bruce Leakins. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Here we go. Face off inside the offensive end. The net is empty. They've got the extra attacker out. The Blue Jackets win the draw on their own end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Line. Columbus gets the puck near the boards. Quick feed to Goudreau. Moves it towards the empty net. And that goes off, course off a of body. Scrum along the boards. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Scores into the empty net. Governor, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Blue Jackets maintain that persistence like they have all night long. They add the empty netter. If that's fair to say, this, this is over, right, Drew? Oh, it's over, James. No question about it. And you can see the elation in all the faces and on the bench. They know it. It was a hard-fought battle. And they get the W. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. A strong team effort tonight leads them to victory, and they take a 2-1 series lead. Well, that's a huge win to get the 2-1 lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game can mean the series tie, or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead? Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. The playoffs are a war of attrition, and we know that they will continue, and we will see you then at the next broadcast. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. We'll talk to you then.